In Edge Animate, there are two main ways you can use code for your projects. One of those is timeline triggers, and the other one is element actions. We'll first take a look at timeline triggers. Now in the animation we have here, it's a very simple animation where we have our fruit label coming from off stage, goes on stage, and this kind of bounces right into place. I'm gonna play this just by hitting my space bar so we see what's happening. Now, as far as the stage is set, we have the set to auto play. So if we test this in the browser, let's do command return, control enter on PC. There's our animation. Now, what a timeline trigger can do, we can take the power of the playhead and pretty much give it back to the timeline. Right now we have it set to auto play. But what I wanna do is I wanna stop this at the very beginning. Now I could simply just turn off auto play, but I'm gonna use a timeline trigger instead. So let's move our playhead right to the beginning here. And I can click here to insert a timeline trigger or use my quick command of Command T or Control T on PC. Now this is a trigger at the very beginning. So what I can do is simply click stop. And sim.stop means that it's going to stop the playhead right at the beginning. So we'll close this out and let's test our movie. Command return, control enter on PC. Now we have a blank screen because we have stopped the animation from it even starting. So the fruit label is actually sitting off stage so we can't see it right now. Let's go ahead and close this. Now to further illustrate what's happening, I'm gonna move my playhead. Now, once we get to the end, it's pretty much bounced about right here. I'm gonna pull over a guide just so we can see where things are. I'm gonna pull the playhead back. And this is about where it goes its furthest. So we can have that just setting a little bit off from where it's supposed to be. And instead of setting the stop at the very beginning, I'm gonna click and drag our trigger right at this far point right here. So let's test our movie again. Command return, control enter on PC. So we don't have the bounce anymore because we have set the timeline trigger to stop exactly where it was going to rebound. All right, let's go ahead and close this out. Okay, we're going to do one last thing. We're gonna move our trigger to the end and we're gonna give it a different command. So I'll simply move this right to the end here. And to change the command, I'm gonna simply double click on the trigger. And instead of it saying stop, I'm going to select this and delete it, or backspace on PC. And I wanna select play reverse. Now basically what's gonna happen is once this gets to the end here, it will automatically play the animation in reverse. So let's test out our movie. Command return, control enter on PC. Okay, so without writing any code, we've actually taken control over our timeline, made it stop where we wanted it to, and we've even had the animation play in reverse. All of this is possible by using timeline triggers.